In today's video, I'm going to be surviving 100 days in a lava-covered world. This world is going to be insanely challenging and limited on resources. Well, that's uh, <laughs> while it lasts. But we're going to see if I got what it takes to survive 100 days in this world. And if you guys go on to enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, join the Paul GG army, and let's get into the video. Okay, loading in on day one. I should have fire res for like a few seconds if the data pack is correct. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please, 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 please. Oh yeah, no, we got time. I hear, you know what? I'm gonna go back for a swim. I got, I got time. Okay, but I'm pretty lucky that there's actually water nearby. I'm not gonna lie. Um, So with the land being entirely covered in lava, we pretty much do have to travel by... <laughs> wow, this looks so cursed. As I was saying though, uh, I am gonna have to basically travel by water to be able to get around. Also, could get some fishies. My hope is that I can maybe find an ocean because usually these rivers can connect to like the ocean. And then if I get to an ocean, then I might be able to get a shipwreck. Biggest hope right now. So let's just real quick swim up this river and see where it leads me. All right, it, uh, it, it, uh, it led me to a uh, dead end. So now I need to um, essentially go all the way back up this river and go the other way. Stupid water, stupid Minecraft. All right, finally, I'm back. It's, here's the, oh my gosh, there's a village not that far away, baby. Let's go. Hopefully it doesn't burn down by the time we get there. Ah, uh, great. No, I gotta hurry. Please don't burn down. I'll literally take anything. Oh, literally. Oh my gosh. Give me one tree. I will literally take one tree in this world. If it's the only tree I could ever get. It's okay, here we go. Up, 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 up. And over. Please, 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 please. No, no. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got a pig. And that's kind of it. Everything else is just burning down. Give me these. Give me these. That's food. Okay, and then I can get this wood. We got one. Um, Give me some of this please before it burns me like one or two more logs oh yeah baby well the iron golem survived that's huge actually that hold on wait 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 wait. we need to make moves we need to i need to get on this i'm going to craft up a pickaxe for cobblestone and a regular axe to be able to chop down that iron golem <laughs> no he's burning no 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 don't 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 not yet not yet not yet please not yet no he's being pushed to the lava i guess this is good and bad yes iron survived <laughs> i'm in such a state of panic man this is so much anxiety okay now i'm gonna get cobblestone real quick we'll step in that lava I'm trying to take literally anything of value it's already about to be nighttime please tell me there's still a bed left somewhere in this village and okay, now we can officially craft up some stone tools bang bam wait i just realized i can make a bucket holy crap the big moves life's going all right it's going and i can scoop up this water and then i need to get to a bed real quick excuse me sir i'm gonna create a floor first of all and take everything out of this chest and kick you out <laughs> so far so good a little less panicky now feeling better oh excuse me sorry cat <clears throat> day two though <laughs> get all this cobblestone and ideally i actually want these villagers to survive because if i could come back for them at some point and that'd be great so here i'm gonna try to put them down in a hole where they will not be able to escape and also i can be able to get dirt this should be fine for now and they should be able to survive and when i come back inevitably then we should be good but it doesn't look like there's anything else in this village that's gonna help me in any sort of way um However, I do have a bucket now, which is the ultimate tool to be able to survive in this world. Because now I can actually get places without completely stressing my mind out. I want to get some of this. See, the worst part is that this doesn't make it easy to survive in this world is because I could just still just die in an instant. It just makes it so my, my brain is uh, a little less stressed out. No, kitty! <clears throat> All right, can I see ocean from here? What is that? Oh, it's just stuff that isn't burning yet. My next goal is I'm gonna craft up a boat, which seems a, a bit like a waste, I'll be honest. But if the only way of getting around easily in this world is gonna be through the rivers, then I'd rather have a boat on me at all times. Because now I can easily zoom up and down all the rivers. The next problem is I'm still kind of low on food. Oh my God, there's another village literally right on the other side of the hill. Got a bridge over some of those dangerous lava here. And then it's smooth sailing babe oh and i might I, yeah. i'm actually gonna be able to get here in time too before it completely burns down oh it's already starting i don't know i need to hurry my goal is sapling 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 go to the trees go to the trees go to the trees go to the trees iron golem's burning come on come on no 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 no, no. sapling 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 i just need to put out all the fire so that i don't lose my sapling and you know what get this iron golem while i'm at it there we go quite nice okay well that sapling is dropping i'll just try to not die but also get some wood 
should be a chest that a little bit of armor it's this house just nothing but these villages are not good i'll be completely honest now, let's see do i got a sapling waiting for me no why is there fire over here please don't burn no i thought day two would be a lot easier now that we got a bucket but it's just not oh wait we got a farm food 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 there's just no way that this tree hasn't dropped any saplings while i've been waiting either it, it had to have burned please right, i'm sitting i'm waiting day two no oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> okay rest of the village rest of the village there's nothing there's literally nothing good at the rest of the village got some emeralds and a hat <sighs> We're not looking too hot boss i think what i'm going to need is definitely going to be ocean because ocean is what is going to give me oh that actually looks like the ocean because shipwrecks is where you're able to get a lot of iron even some saplings actually i'm not gonna get my hopes up that much okay wait a second i don't remember getting an oak sapling but at some point i did pick one up so i guess i was crying and complaining for literally no reason take the brown pearl and head over to the seven seas well i hope it's one of the seven seas i just i hope it's an ocean i'll be honest all i need to do is get across all this lava which honestly yeah what am i doing i need a water bucket i was like okay i gotta somehow bridge all the way over should be able to just easily make a pathway oh my gosh that's hurting my ears i'm a snag finally here we go now let's hopefully find some shipwrecks because if we find shipwrecks like i said we could get iron we could get food honestly i would say it's even potentially better than a village what woodland mansion what kind of seed is it oh got a, got a, a sunken ship for those who want the seed there you go uh Okay, what you got in you? What you got in you? Mm, mm, not very much. Stupid dolphin took my boat. All right, dolphin, take me, take me to over to the the stupid woodland mansion. Even though I'm incredibly undergeared and there's no way I'm gonna survive going. through. Wait a sec, I don't even gotta go through this. I could just wait. I mean, it's gonna take like all day to burn, but day three might be the best day yet <laughs> because chests don't burn in Minecraft. Oh yeah, look at that thing. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna wait. I'm just gonna build around myself, even though the blocks are literally invisible. Hello, please load. There we go. And I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> By that, I mean, I'm going to drink some G Fuel, guys. Do you guys know G Fuel is amazing? It gets you a lot of energy, delicious. And you can use code PaulGG to get it at a discount. All right, half a day three, all night of day three, and now morning of day four. And this thing is, it's so big. Why, oh, why did they make these things so big? Oh, wait, I left my bed. I'm trying to make my way over there nice and safely. Hopefully I don't burn uh, too much. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, see, this is where it's still a problem. Um, <laughs> ah, it's still flowing. There we go go all right woodland mansion what you got up in you <sighs> chest number one honestly kind of depressing chest two still depressing um chest three <sighs> yeah this is really setting the tone of how this is gonna go oh, wait, actually i just craft up a shield before i get a little too ahead of myself here and let's take this man's to pound town <clears throat> There we go. Um, ooh, thank you for the axe too, sir. Where is a man's with a totem though? Now that I could get behind. Wait, what am I doing? I need to get more wood while I'm here. I didn't really think this through. The floors on these things are also made out of wood. So now it's like, I can't really get around. It's another chest. Ooh, we got a diamond chest plate. There we go. We're looking pretty good. Also another bucket and the rest is dookie. It is so hard to see around in this thing. We got a secret chest with a golden apple, some redstone and curse of vanishing also elite and now after spending the majority of the day just even trying to find all the chests i think i've looted everything and honestly there's just nothing good in this thing there's literally no secret room this alien tree okay so we're up oh actually i didn't even think about that lush caves have the azalea bush thing and they grow into those trees and i can be able to get saplings and wood that way now i just need to be able to get down into the cave because all the entrances are covered in lava okay well either way that's that's a job for tomorrow i need to get down and go to sleep um <laughs> my issue is that the only way that i'm getting into a lush cave though is if i do luckily find some sort of entrance hold on let me get the tree before it burns down please i feel like lush caves normally have like pretty easy entrances so hopefully that actually is one and i'm not just getting baited just in case let's just real quick whip up a handful of doors so that i can be able to easily breathe underwater so my hope is that there we go i was gonna say my hope is that when i break one of these i could just easily hop into a cave oh yes no lava it's beautiful in here give me these berries <laughs> uh oh uh oh brick bro great great oh here we go give me some of this baby no okay we just get some stone bro give me a minute and now that i got a handful of cobblestone now i can be able to actually make a furnace and with that furnace cook up my iron and any sort of food that i have but otherwise we should be chilling and i'm probably just gonna explore some 
explore some caves. Primarily, I wanted to get down here because I can get these and these grow in a tree. And so basically, this is just an infinite supply of saplings down here. Oh my gosh, bro. It's, it's got to be nighttime in the overworld, right? Let's just calm down here. Let Papa get some food in his system. And okay, well, I also mine up uh, some more iron and stuff. Now, what I'm hoping to do is maybe potentially, hopefully not get shot by a skeleton for once, but also some diamonds. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. Please stop. There's literally a mine shaft right here, boys. Just let me leave. Oh, but of course it's burning. Why would it not be burning? Whatever. Screw the diamonds. I'll take literally anything of value, period. <laughs> take this coal. Take some more iron. Take some lapis. Take a nap. And lastly, take everything out of this mine shaft. Oh yeah, baby. Chest number one. And it did too. Oh, we got a spoder spot. Okay, we're just gonna leave. Um, I don't have the mental capacity to fight cave spiders right now. I'll be honest. There we go. Our first official diamond. And it's out of a chest from a duty mine shaft. Little did I know, though, that was gonna be the best loot that this mine shaft was gonna offer so i decided to call it quits with the mine shaft but then i kept going deeper into the caves where i managed to find some redstone and iron vein and some diamonds but now that i got decent loot the only thing that's gonna be hard is uh finding the exit oh, finally i actually found the exit the problem with lush caves is that literally everything looks the same in here and i hate it i also love it it's beautiful in here. Right, goodbye friends as you can tell i made many friends while in this cave next thing on my agenda is that i need to start building up a base as soon as possible because my my inventory is getting way, way too full. Also, I realized that I don't even need coal in this world because all I need to do is just, yes, yeah, scoop up lava and then get lava buckets. <laughs> and also the most important thing is that we brought a buddy now. We got a friend with us on this adventure. Oh, don't go on that lava. <laughs> so now at least we won't be alone. Most importantly though, I also finally have enough diamonds to create some gear. In the meantime, while all that's melting down, what I'm gonna do is attempt to get a regular oak sap and we'll see if that goes well. Oh, what? Somehow I missed this chest. Oh, also there's a laze. I forgot about the laze. Ah, here we go. This one I was hoping to find in here is a little bit of bone. So I could just bone meal the tree. And now hopefully, there we go. We got another sapling already. Because I want to condense my inventory. And if I don't need the azaleas right now, then I'd rather just have regular oak sapling. And now with all of our iron all smelted down and our saplings in pocket, it is officially time to head out. Because now that I see that there's a lot of dirt underneath all the lava still, because I don't know why I figured that there, there wouldn't be. Um, oh, guys, you are in the wrong the wrong location. This world is just a sea of lava. But as I was saying, though, the dirt and everything underneath all the lava means that I actually could still have a base on land. And I actually too want to have a base on land. Just the idea of it, instead of living out on the ocean, because, I mean, we already did that for like over a thousand days. Um, and ideally, I want to live somewhere where it's relatively flat and also semi-close to this village that we were at earlier, so I could obviously obviously get villagers, but also close to the ocean so that we could be able to, you know, take the ocean somewhere. So I'm thinking this actually might be a really good location because in the meantime, I need to set up like a small base camp where I can just store all of my loot while I flatten all this out here. You know what? Let's set up a temporary little base camp right here in the sandbar. Oh my gosh, there's another village. That's going to be convenient later when we move in. Well, let's make some chests, throw all the stuff in it that we don't need right now. And since it's raining up here and I hate the rain i figured the next plan of action is to get a lot of sand so i'll just sit underneath the water shoveling sand and this will make sense later i mean i could get sand or gravel now that i think about it and now with the sand what i want to do is essentially build okay, we're not going to do that uh oh and it's happening again okay just a reminder of how terrible this world could be sometimes anyways what i was saying is that uh i was gonna section off like a giant area where we could build a base and um and keep it very contained until i dropped water right there um not too late we can find somewhere else to live uh this is just prime real estate though as you can tell it's, it's really hot now that we got a bunch of sand now all i need to do is find like the perfect spot to live like i said i want it to be semi close to a village semi close to the ocean where i got easy path to be able to get to the ocean and actually get around in this world since the ocean is kind of everything but i also need it to be relatively flat to be able to build a base and get rid of all the lava remotely easily it's kind of hard to tell what biome i'm in especially because i'm just in a river like the 
the entire time. Like, this is a sunflower plane. So it is relatively flat and close to the... You know what? Actually, this is perfect. We're gonna live here. So my strategy for clearing out a nice big area is essentially going to be to section off a giant square by starting off with making an outline. It's basically like draining out an ocean monument, but like high risk, you know? Right, I'm also gonna need way more blocks. And now that I got the outline for all the base camp, now all I really gotta do is essentially just add in a ton of sand and outline the entire thing. So this way, I don't gotta worry about messing up the lava outside the base because I think it looks kind of cool when the lava is like flowing in. And then I'll just replace all the sand with like a wall or something like that. And now with our outline all set up, all I really need to do is basically dump some water and then that water will overflow, turning everything into obsidian. Mm, somehow I don't think this is the best idea. Yeah, I need something else. I really, I just need something else. Now I've been talking about this for a long time, but I think Minecraft needs uh, lava sponges. New strategy. What I'm going to do is essentially plug up all the lava and then just shovel all the dirt away. Well, actually, this dirt could stay now that I think about it because I need this to be flat with this over here. So this should just be one smooth plane. The only thing is that I don't really have um, any blocks, so I need a lot of dirt. Actually, I just realized instead of going underwater and shoveling all this dirt, and that would take a really long time, instead, I could be able to shovel up all the dirt that the woodland mansion exposed when it burned down, which honestly, this should just be an infinite amount of dirt. I should be totally fine with shoveling dirt here for the rest of my life. And now with all my dirt, I can now finally pull plug up all this lava. Just gotta be careful around these ports. The mountains of lava. I don't know why I was getting nervous. And there we have it. Now we got all the dirt placed and all the lava out. So now we actually have a place that we can be able to set up base camp. I mean, all I really need to do is kind of like smooth this down and actually make it look nice. Um, but otherwise, we should be chin chill. Next thing on the agenda, though, after getting rid of literally all that obsidian and uh, having a few stacks of obsidian now, what I'm probably going to do is set up a little farm area. And when we set up the farm area, then I'd go to the nether to get some bone meal. But, you know, one thing after the other. So let's set farm there we go now we got a nice little food farm area which i can set up my only food i have um i'll go get more at the village i should be able to grab plenty of crops oh yeah especially if there's gonna be potatoes baby and i'm just so unbelievably low on food though at this point not being able to just hunt and there goes my stamina not being able to just hunt stuff down makes everything so difficult here you know what i'm, I'm gonna get some fishy boys so i want to plant all of this i still need food in the meantime and now i can just cook up all this fish so that I don't got to eat all my crops. However, I do need this stuff to grow um, <clears throat> a lot faster than what it is now. Which, like I said, the best way to do that is going to definitely be to hop into the nether and get a whole lot of bone meal. That is when uh, when we're done cooking. And now with all of our salmon cooked up, time to build a portal off in the corner where I don't got to listen to it. And I, I made it for short people. Great. And now let's sorry, do you want do you want to go to the nether with me? Is that what you're trying to tell me? <gasps> He's got spruce saplings. My boy. You guys know I love spruce. It's the, it's just it's the jam, bro. First time I've ever seen one of these guys actually be as useful as he is. Now let's just plant these things all over the place and hopefully we come home to some sprucey boy. But back to the task at hand. Let's hopefully find a soul sand valley. There we go. Oh my god. I just realized I'm also not rocking any gold. I need to get some bling bling real quick. Oh, and then is that a fortress I see while getting some gold that just doesn't exist? I literally can't find any. Bridge my way over to the Soul Sand Valley. That's kind of nice not being in a place completely covered in lava. Okay, not as much lava, I guess. Um, and now let's get some of these bony boys. And now I can use all this bone meal to actually grow a farm. Now we're going to be rich, baby. Rich in dados. All right, now we should be good to go on food for now. <clears throat> That's a little awkward. Um, also, how? There's still got to be like lava. Yep, there we go. Just like these tiny bits of lava, they go through blocks and I, I hate it. This could be my house. If I, if I was to spend a bunch of time on a house and it goes down like this, I would cry. Anyways, like I was saying, it's time to hop back in the nether. I figured it would be best if I start off with Bastion and make my way all the way over there because while doing trades, if I get fire res, then obviously that just makes the uh, fortress just infinitely easier. The only problem is that this one's all the way over here and then that one's all the way over there. I'm gonna go across this lava lake. You know, Minecraft, everything's just an inconvenience. However, bridge 
bridges is such an amazing bastion because literally all the gold's just out in the open. All I really need to do is make sure I avoid him and then also avoid some brutes. I don't want to fight a brute. I really don't want to fight a brute. So let's just grab all this. I'm also going to scoop up some of this lava for the piglin brute. You can't jump up. You got small brain. Right, now get in the hole and have some fun. Now, ideally, I would do this with more pig. Come on, piggy boys. More in the hole. There we go. Now trades should go much, much faster. In fact, I already see pearls in there. All right, and a stack of pearls, a bunch of arrows. I mean, I'd call this a success, I'll be honest. <laughs> now, before we go to the fortress, I want to drop all this stuff off at home because my inventory is too full, and unfortunately, we don't have shulker boxes yet. Oh, what I would do for a shulker box. All right, and with all of our stuff finally all dropped off, it's time to get back into the nether. And this time, though, we got to raid a fortress. Luckily, though, we did get plenty of fireses from the piggy boys. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I also need to figure out how, how to even get there all right never mind it wasn't too hard actually just a couple backflips and a couple somersaults and we're in our fortress now where them boys where my blaze boys aha here we go honor achieved baby and get rid of all this glowstone let's just get to collecting all these rods we should be good to go on blaze rods now i made sure to get plenty so i don't really gotta come back here for a while however we do gotta loot the rest of this bad boy i mean what kind of loot can i get out of this mm, chest number one and yeah. you know i was hoping for the blue stuff show me the blue stuff Chest number two is looking, um, and number three. Yep. Okay. All right. I'm seeing the trend to get it. Today is uh, not a Minecraft. Minecraft does not like me. All right. And after a rather disappointing adventure, it's time we probably should head home. Considering that there's literally no other chests in this thing. Well, curse, let me uh, fix that for you. And since we're getting a lot of items now, which is very surprising, I honestly wasn't really expecting to have this many items. Um, <laughs> figured we should probably make some temporary chests so that I could be able to store up a bunch of stuff. Have another chest, have a dirt chest, of course, a wood chest as well with what little wood we have. Now, next thing I want to do though is get a ton of potatoes again because I cooked all my potatoes. I realize I need raw potato now, but because I want to take these potatoes over to the nearby village and hopefully get these villagers to start breeding and then we can actually have some more villagers. I also need to make it at least mildly safe for them to walk around. There we go. Now, I'm definitely going to call this obsidian village because, um, you know, all the uh, obsidian. Now, hopefully, these guys will actually start breeding and then we can get some more villagers going on because ideally I want to be able to make as many villager trades as I can just be able to maximize how much loot I could get out of this world burning speaking of villages actually I want to finally travel all the way over to that village hopefully get there before it burns because it looks like there's actually hay bales the thing is also I don't know how to get there not to worry though a lava professional like myself will persevere oh the ocean connect oh the ocean literally just connects straight to it oh no it looks like i already got too close and it's already on fire all right i need a hurry i need a hurry i need a hurry please 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 oh i'm not worried about saving the village i'll be completely honest um just want to be able to loot it without having to catch on fire every two seconds i'll take these beds too for my village my already burnt down village oh the hay bales i wanted those please stop i thought hay bales don't burn this is so stressful why aren't you stressed out right now Oh, a blast furnace. That I do need. Ow, ow, ow. I have an idea. I'm going to pour water from the very top of the village and it'll cascade all the way down throughout the village. Maybe it'll save it. I think it's already a lost cause, but unfortunately, it wasn't able to get nearly as much loot out of this thing as I wanted. However, I do see a uh, portal over there. I'll say it's probably not even worth it. I'm not going to go all the way over there. <laughs> Because I have a new plan anyways. I want to set sail in the brown pearls so that maybe we can be able to find some more shipwrecks. Because shipwrecks, you're able to get, I don't know, sapling, sugar cane, food, literally anything of value. And not to mention that we might also just find more villages out there that's kind of close to the water and that I can actually take advantage of. And look, it's a hard world out here, right? Trying to get anything and everything I can. Oh, frick, dude, bamboo! That's huge, actually, because then I can make scaffolding, and scaffolding is like one of the best things to get rid of lava. Regardless, let's set sail and avoid that thing and go straight to those things. Finally, after raiding two villages and pretty much like a dozen ships, we have a lot of loot, actually. Got a lot of paper, got some bamboo, tons of iron. It actually was definitely worth it. I should be set on food for a very long time. And then one thing I wanted to do was I wanted to grab this map and I wanted to use it in the base so I could see what it looks like. Oh, man, I got mostly the river over there. Also, why is the lava so red? Next up on the agenda, what I want to do is smelt down some glass so that then I can be able to make a cool looking 
cobblestone generator because I'm making a cobblestone generator, which I'm going to need to make a bunch of hoppers. First, I need to make chests. Uber. And I'll probably just slap it on over here. Just just bop, 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 bop. Put the hoppers going into it and grab some glass, which this is going to take a while because I probably should have smelted this down earlier. I guess in the meantime, I could start getting rid of all the lava that's burning down my trees. And let's place some stairs on top like so. And now all I need to do is add some water. As I was saying, add some water. That's not water. To each one of these stairs. And then just slap some lava right on top like so. And there we have our cobblestone generator. And now it's time to just AFK and mine a whole lot of stone. Because I want to get a lot of stone so that I can be able to replace the outer wall of the entire base. But also get enough stone to be able to actually build up a base. Like I, would like, I would love to have a house. So let the mining commence. All right, now that we're officially done with mining up a bunch of stone, we should be good, that is. Now, what I do want to do is set up some auto smelters. I need a little bit more wood so that I could craft up some more chests and set up the auto smelter. And so now all I need to do is load up these chests with cobblestone and then just scoop up some lava and let the lava do all the work. Lava keeps a furnace lit for like actually a really long time. I really realized. Now, obviously, a silk touch pickaxe would make life infinitely easier, which... Uh, um, maybe I start working on enchantment table. <laughs> so I know I got a lot of paper and some books. Not very much leather. I think I need a lot, right? Yeah, I can only make four bookshelves. Yikes. Um, mm. Oh, wait, that's because I don't have wood. Hello. And there we go. Now we have 13 bookshelves. How many do I need? I think I need 15, right? I'm set up a temporary one of these until we have a base built and everything. <laughs> I'm just like temporarily building everything in this compound. So this block of dirt is my enchantment table. I think I already goofed. Yeah, no, I already, I definitely already goofed. There we go. So with 13 bookshelves, technically I'm sure, ooh, I want to say it was 15. One of those poo brain moments here. Hey, you know what? I'm definitely going to go get those books real quick. I probably either A, get them from a shipwreck real quick, going in a different direction, or B, find another village with a library, which if I boat out to the west past the Woodland Mansion, I should be good because I haven't really explored out in the ocean this way. I could tell this is a desert because I could actually see sand, like a mountain of sand. It's so hard to tell what biomes I'm in. Abandoned nether portal. I don't think these have what I want in it, but I mean, we'll take it. But shipwrecks, however, usually either A, have paper or B, have books. This one, paper. All right. As for the next one, oh baby, lots of iron. And more paper and more books and more paper. I'm pretty sure we have enough, but I did see this ship over here and this looks like it's above water and I want to stand on it. Oh man, it's just half a boat, but it does still got the goodies in it. But we should be good to go. And now let's go craft up the rest of these bookshelves and there we go and now all i need to do is actually enchantment table um which unfortunately i am gonna need a couple diamonds for so instead of going through a water cave i want to try to set up my own little mine shaft so we should be good unless we hit a surface level cave that's just full of lava then then we're not uh we're not looking good oh well that uh oh my gosh is there an exit okay no there's definitely not gonna be an exit in here um then of course we turn there we go this is the type of Okay. Okay. Uh, this is the type of cave that I'm looking for. Surely. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Um, 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 please leave me alone. Surely we can find some diamonds in here though. But most importantly, we also just have easy access now and down into a cave that isn't just covered in lava. Ooh, diamond. Oh, there we go. And these caves are juicy too. Now we got all the diamonds that we're going to need for our enchantment table. But, you know, I might as well <clears throat> stay down in the caves for a little longer and try to get some more because then I could just make all diamond enchanted gear. And not to mention, I also do need a whole lot of lapis. So I can be to enchant said gear. Oh, that I was not expecting to find. We got ourselves a little slimy boy. Don't mind if I do. Oh my gosh, I gotta be careful here. Ooh, and a mine shaft. I'll be honest, I don't really want to deal with a mine shaft right now. I got plenty of diamonds already. We need to just go home. Anyways, now I can craft up my enchantment table. Slap it down right here. And then technically I could do level 30. And oh yeah, it requires level 30. That's what I was gonna say. I was like, wait, why is it broken? I'm not level 30. Now let's craft up a handful of tools. So now at least for bling blinged out, all we really need is some boots and i do want to enchant all this gear too though but the only thing is yeah getting level 30 i figured i'd 
probably just make a mob grinder since one mob grinders are honestly just super efficient especially in worlds like this where literally nothing can spawn anywhere and now for building up my mob grinder what i want to do is try to clear out oh i almost jumped into that throughout an area to the side of the base i figured this water will definitely help me do that so all i gotta do is break this okay it just turns into more obsidian i don't know why i was thinking it'd be cobblestone but uh either way hold on let me just there we go now this is where we're gonna be setting up our mob grinder and i can walk over here and slap up all the mobs get a bunch of xp and everything but first i'm gonna need some wood so i can make this thing look visually appealing and also very flammable like everything else in this world and of course you got the giant trees which make life just so much easier now we should have plenty of wood all i need to do is set up some walls so that this lava doesn't flow like this and just do it on both sides just for the aesthetic i'm gonna set up my hoppers and stuff preemptively and I'll probably bring this all up one block like how i'm using all the the stone for building up this <laughs> tower instead of uh working on building up my base it's fine because then i'll get uh, you know i'll get levels and then i'll enchant and then i'll get silk touch and then i can just mine more stone you know that's the circle of minecraft life but anyways everyone's already seen a mob grinder get built so i figured i'll probably just do a little time lapse arena make this look nice and aesthetic for everybody Now our magnificent mob grinder is complete. All I need to do is wait for the mobs to really start spawning any, any day now. Also, I didn't nearly use all of my cobblestone. I still have quite a bit left, so we should still be good to go on building up a house, but um, I'm actually starting to get worried. Did I do something wrong with this? <laughs> Aha, there we go. Now we got our first customer. Maybe it's just got to build up enough mobs in there to where they start like pushing each other down into the, uh, the little river canals. I don't know. I'm gonna give this a few moments just to start collecting all the mobs. In the meantime, I'm just gonna chop down some more trees because i'm gonna need a whole lot more wood for building up our house soon and in a few moments we'll come back to the mob grinder and hopefully it'll be full Mm, it appears I may have done something wrong here. I'm just not quite sure what that is. I feel like I built it up like any other mob grinder. Maybe at nighttime it actually might work better because there's supposed to be increased mob spawning. I don't know. Maybe I just need to give up on this thing already. Spent days building it just for it to not work. Unless there really is just that many caves down below me and all the mobs are just spawning in those caves. But even then, there should at least be some. What the heck? I just walked away for like two minutes and then now there's mobs in it. Okay, I need to change this <laughs> just a little bit. Apparently the creepers, they don't like it. This should work, though. It should make it just narrow enough. Yeah, nice. <sighs> oh, now things are spawn. I hate mob grinders. This is, like, it's my least favorite thing, but at the same time, they can be really, really good or really, really bad. Okay, regardless, though, to make up for some stone... All right, I have an idea for troubleshooting this, but first, I'm going to need to grow some bamboo. All right, think about it. Can I even bone meal bamboo? Oh, yes, I can. And now, with all this bamboo, now I could craft up a bunch of scaffoldings and then take these scaffoldings all the way up to the top of the mob grinder. Ew. Then I need to make a spot in the center of this thing. Where I can then make scaffolding all the way up into the sky because technically for mob spawning, it goes from bottom up. So it's better to be all the way up and then let them spawn below you. This is just me troubleshooting. I, I don't know literally what's wrong with this. Oh man, quite the view. Village number one, village number two, and village number three. You know, I really do hate to be that guy. I really do hate to be that guy. But half of this thing is technically in a river biome. Does that mean I have to put water in it so i could at least get <laughs> drowns to spawn oh this thing's got me in depression but the other half is in sunflower plains so I, my guess is that the sunflower one is where the very few mobs that have spawned have come in because yeah we still got pretty much nothing and nothing's not good i just built this whole thing i'm going to attempt and i do mean attempt to salvage to craft up a handful of gates I'm gonna hop on in, and of course, there's literally no mobs. I drop water right there. Where does it go? Yeah, it does overflow. That's fine, because I'll just place all this down. And then now, I'll just place down a whole lot of water that I'm hoping that drowns will spawn in. And if drowns do spawn in it, then they'll just get pushed into the, the water streams anyways, or right out of the, the water. I hope this works, because half of it's in a river. And river biomes, if you guys didn't know, is where you can get the most drowns from. And if I could still get 
get drowns out of this, then obviously it's not a complete L because drowns can still give some juicy XP. And now let's give it the same test that we just gave it where I go all the way up in the center of it and we'll just stand there for a few minutes. All right, and moment of truth time. If you know how I feel, why would you say that? I hate this thing. Note self, make sure where you're building it is where it needs to be built. Just spent like 10 days dealing with this thing. <laughs> it just hurts to not work. Oh, I guess I'll just get the occasional little bit of XP out of it, but otherwise it's like, yeah, no, this thing is. All right. And since this thing is honestly, it's just not working me in this thing. Mm -mm. But since that mob grinder isn't working, uh, I figured we'll go with plan B and hop in the nether to get XP. Because even though it's time consuming, at least in the nether, I can be able to mine up a lot of quartz and quartz gives a lot of XP. So... And now with all of our levels, I can finally do some enchantments over at the enchantment table, starting off with my pickaxe, because if I can get either silk touch or fortune, both of those would be amazing. Efficiency and silk touch. <laughs> Oh, we're so good at this. Now, sword, we get sharpness and looting. Oh my God. Okay, here, let's do some armor. Preferably uh, fire protection. Fire protection. All right, and now we're under level 30. We did get some good enchantments and we're far from over. We'll still be doing more enchantments later. But now I can actually AFK here and get a lot of stone without even having to cook it, which is good because I used a lot of stone to build up the crappy mob grinder. So now I'm going to sit here and I'm going to AFK and get a ton of stone and we're finally going to build the house. Uh, like almost 50 days into this we're finally going to build a house so now we got all of this stone all primed and ready for building up the base all we really need to do is kind of like just oh we actually got some mobs in here huh not very uh not very many but now all i really need to do is kind of like level out the land over here and get rid of all the trees that i've been planting there we go with all the trees out of the way now all i need to do is kind of level the land and make sure i don't step in the little bits of lava that i covered up and i also need to make sure i get rid of all the obsidian that's sitting in the base now this is already starting to feel a whole lot better it's much more open it's a lot flatter got rid of the mountain right here and the mountain over there what i do need to do though is get some grass because it is looking terrible over here after i just said it looks better it looks so bad. luckily though i do have silk touch and the village does have grass and uh, now i can plant this all down in the base and then it'll slowly just start taking over and everything's gonna start turning green and beautiful beautiful and finally while all this grass is growing it's gonna be time to build the base been a long time coming but it's officially time i'm literally just chopping down trees and animals are already spawning on what little grass i have hello <laughs> you guys better not get in the way while i'm building them. i'm just saying that right now i go all the way up a tree and then i come all the way down and then i hear mm. all right well either way distractions aside let's get to building this thing Now officially our house is finished. I honestly got to say, I never expected that my favorite house I've ever built is going to be in a lava covered world. However, I really do like this house. The front facade needs a little bit of finessing. I need to do something with it. Something about like this wall is a little flat. Maybe add some leaves. Actually, yeah, that would probably solve my problem. Maybe a little bit of wall. Yeah, I already know my problem. Uh, anyways, moving on though. House got two watchtowers up in the front posted. Walk through our front door, which is obviously just a big archway. You got a door to the left and a door to the right. They go both different directions. They do different things. To the left, you go into the storage room, which is right out. You know, it's, it's just a nice little narrow hallway. It's, I mean, it's a storage room. I don't know what else you want. To the right, you go to a little bridge that goes above our little pond that I'm going to be boating in and out of to be able to get to and from literally everything that connects to the ocean. And you are stealing my grass. Anyways, back to the task at hand here, okay? Downstairs, we got a nice little pond area, like I said, for our, our 
you know, boating excursions. Just a nice little vibey area. Probably gonna add some leaves. It's just kind of hard to add leaves when like, you know, you don't really got much trees. I don't really like spruce. I'd like jungle. <laughs> jungle leaves are definitely the best. But that's for a later date. Because now we gotta go upstairs. Again, watchtowers don't really serve much purpose. They just kind of look cool, I'll be honest. But then upstairs, you go into the bedroom, which also, also has another staircase. So that also works. The bedroom's big and it's empty. However, I'm just vibing with this house in general. Just like the aesthetic of it, the like open little courtyard going on in here. It's just everything about it. I love it. I'll be honest. Now, all I really need to do is first get rid of this guy. And then I also need to actually move everything into the new house, which actually I just realized I need an enchantment room. So and I really hope that this will still work like this. Is this even right? I mean, technically, yeah, that should be right. Can I? Nope, not level 20. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe the most I could do is two levels high. Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, there we go. So I guess this works. Ooh, and then we actually have a leftover bookshelf, which I'm definitely gonna use. That is after I move literally everything else into the base. And there we go. Now we got everything all officially moved into the house and organized into the chest. So we're no longer living out in the wild like a wild beast. But I also just realized this still feels out of place and I still don't like this. So I'm gonna move it again. <laughs> Instead of having it downstairs, I'll have it upstairs because I realized that when I closed off the staircase, it created a perfect spot. And instead down here, what I'm going to do is set up the auto smelters, except I just realized I can't do that because then I'll place a chest right here. And then I guess I could just put stairs. Right? Yeah, it's just that. There we go. Now we just got a bunch of slabs up there. Now we got our auto smelters indoors also. Now we're officially moved in. Next thing on the agenda is that I want to set up a lectern so that I can be able to get mending on all of my tools. So let's just real quick set up a villager with a new job and um, yeah, just try to get him to sell us mending. It's going to take forever. Come on, bro. It's already day 69. That magic, magic number. Give me what I want, please. Come on, bro. Day 69's not over yet, boys. Take this job. <laughs> uh, it's gonna take me two days to get this stupid book. All right, day 70. Someone please give me my ding. Yes, everybody come gather around me to hear the word of your Lord and Savior, Paul GG Christ. But there is no possible way that i haven't gotten mending yet we're almost done with day 70. i've been doing this for two days i've gone through an iron axe just to be able to break this thing and i still have not gotten mending i've passed up on silk touch fortune 2 like all that good stuff but like i just can't get mending are you serious i'm hoping that once i start complaining then uh the villagers will cater please finally finally thank you kind sir for giving me the book that i want at an incredibly high price Mind you. Also halfway through day 71. So also thanks for that. I hate these guys so much. And now I need to make some more emeralds real quick. So now what I want to do, I'm going to take all the wheat that I got and then set up some farmers so I could actually just sell all of it to them. But I forgot it's already late in the day and uh, they're not taking jobs. <laughs> I hate villagers. All right, new day. Come on, buy wheat, please. Don't be like mending guy. Wheat is a common trade. There we go. Ooh, and carrots too. I like that. There we go. Sell all the wheat. And now having farmer boys over there, now I can actually harvest all my crops and use them. But I also just realized that I don't have any more bone meal because then I can just actually harvest a lot and then get a lot of emeralds. And so let's hop back in the nether. Um, guys, uh, can you please excuse me, horse and, and sheep? And let's mine up a bunch of bone blocks and then finally buy some more mending books. And now I need to craft up an anvil, which this is like literally the last of my iron and just slap mending on all the important goodies, which actually now I think about it, what I could do, it's also so enchant my axe. Mm -hmm. I knew it was just going to be unbreaking. Dang it. <clears throat> now that I think about it, actually, I'm going to save some mending books and I'm going to enchant my armor later, but for the tools, I'll roll with it for now. Because my armor, I need to get protection on it. I actually have terrible enchants. But now I'm back to the XP problems. All right, now that we got mending on some of our tools, though, let's go heal them up in the nether since our <clears throat> XP farm in the overworld doesn't work. But luckily, quartz is pretty OP and you do get a lot of XP out of it, so we should be fine. And that should be good to go on the tools. Next thing on the agenda is that I want to try I want to clarify try to beat the dragon <laughs> my biggest issue is that finding the stronghold in a world like this is going to be very very difficult because if the stronghold is going to be underneath obviously a mile of lava then getting to it is going to be really hard so I want to make sure that I have uh, plenty of food honestly one fire res should be more than enough I do want to make sure that I have at least 
two water buckets with me. And then I also want to make sure I at least bring some rockets with me so that, you know, when we get the elytra, we should be good to go to be able to fly out of there and craft up a few more gapples just for safety. And even though I know it's not going to be a great enchantment, but levels are kind of difficult to get right now. I'm going to try to get something. Ooh, power two is not bad. I'll take power two on the bow. So we do have plenty of arrows for the dragon, but otherwise we are chilling and it's time to set sail in the brown pearl. Excuse me, cow. Thank you. All right. In which direction are we going? And straight into the lava. Okay. All right. I'm going to try to go around in the ocean. Okay, I think I've kind of deduced the fact that it's either A, underneath all this lava, or B, underneath the edge of this ocean. So let's give it a toss. Oh man, it's just, yeah, right there. <laughs> it's not that bad actually, because that means that I might be able to get to it from the ocean and I don't have to go in the lava. Really hoping that's the case. So let's just real quick whip up some doors and just find our entrance or rather make one because we have to there we go that should be good hopefully we don't miss it i'm just gonna yolo dig straight down honestly we're actually here we actually made it and find the portal room baby we've got a chest and yep okay i'm gonna go ahead and just put my garbage in there since it's clearly a trash can but we got a library i'm not gonna miss this chance to get ample amount of books as many books as i'd like of course i gotta loot the chest and there's not really anything great also i just just heard some silver fish down. Oh, literally right here next door. Hello. Okay, here we go. Officially happening. We're fighting the dragon. We're looking good. Good spawn. Okay, maybe not good spawn. I'm digging up forever. Hello? This thing has no business being this deep. But now it's dragon slaying time, baby. Man, I'll be honest, I've never been so excited to be in the end of my life. This place just no lava. Literally no. No, I'm just kidding. I put that there. <laughs> oh, wait, slow down, dragon. Slow. Ah, oh, man, I'm not going to get in there. There we go. Dragon has been slain. Now give me all the green balls, baby. Not oh, great. I made an Enderman, man. <laughs> Actually, speaking of making Enderman mad, I need pearls. Come here, everybody. Come give me a hug. And of course, I can't forget my eggy. And now it's time to hop into the outer ends. Here we go. Moment of truth. Let me in. 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 All I ever wanted was the light. Ooh, diamonds too, though. Heck of diamonds. And diamond booties. Literally the only thing that I don't have on right now. And then, of course, now I can also make a shulker box. All of my goodies in here. And, of course, I can't forget this dragon head, which is very scary to get because this is very big void. Oh, and there it goes. Oh, eh, all right. <clears throat> no, I don't care. I don't want the trophy. It's fine. Now it's time to raid the end city. Get a ton more shulker and also try to loot any chests that I can. Because normally you could get some pretty good diamond gear. Oh my gosh. I think I've looted this end city for all it's worth. Now all I need to do is try to get out of here. Come from over here. No, this doesn't feel right. I want to get lost in the end. I also have a limited amount of rockets. Ah, here we go. Got ourselves an exit. And oh, finally. Feels so good to be home. I missed everyone especially my baby chicken which is there he is all right, i need to go through all this diamond gear too though because i got a lot of stuff and honestly a lot of it's not good actually no these two helmets are pretty good but first let me dump everything out of my inventory all right now that we got everything all situated it's about time we start getting these enchantments actually under control here for my helmets i did get some decent helmets but this one has a curse on it i mean it's binding and then it's unbreaking and fire protection aqua affinity that's not bad considering we are in a lava world and I constantly burn myself regularly. So what I might do is actually just combine these two. Then helmet should be fine. For the chest plate, I mean, let's be honest, I'm not going to touch my chest plate. I got an elytra on. <laughs> now for my legs though, mm -hmm. protection and the, the, like, that's it, really. And my shovel, efficiency, silk touch, unbreaking, beautiful shovel. Now I also want to craft up another diamond pick so that hopefully we can actually get a fortune again again we try again okay all right this is where i waste my levels isn't it yeah this one's the last one boom all right this enchantment table hates me 
There we go. That's much better. <laughs> Breaking efficiency and fortune. I mean, it's only fortune too. But I think I'm going to send the leggings through again and hopefully... Okay. Just want unbreaking on it as well as protection. Thank you. <laughs> then maybe in the off chance I can get unbreaking... No? Okay. Unbreaking on a book would have been very useful. Because then I can put unbreaking on my elytra along with mending. Speaking of mending, I'm going to go ahead and toss that on my elytra along with my pants. And I'm going to combine my helmet and there we go now i actually got some decent enchant and i'm also level 29 again next thing on the agenda is i want to hop down in these caves so that we could go ahead and slay a bunch of creepers and get a bunch of gunpowder since unfortunately our uh, current system for gunpowder just doesn't work and i mean let's be real here these caves are just full of creepers okay creepers that just want to explode on me oh hello slime not what i came down here for but i mean i'll take it back to the task at hand though creepers and now with all that gunpowder from the creepers i could craft up a ton of fireworks which means now i can actually do some real exploring and i could get into a village before it completely burns down and since we got shulker boxes now i can also take a ton of loot so let's get on this adventure village number one collect all these hay bales and i mean there's kind of not much else here i'll be honest <laughs> what do i feel like all these villages in the lava world kind of suck oh my gosh is that a swamp the swamp survived the lava i mean i guess it is all just water right like that's all a swamp is <laughs> oh, it looks so cursed, though. <laughs> Literally all the little land parts. However, I will take some lily pads and I will put them in my pond. Okay, back to pillaging. Oh, actually, it looks like mangrove also survived. Again, I mean, it is pretty much just a swamp and yeah, it's gonna all burn down. <laughs> Honestly, my hope is that I can find some sugar cane. That's like my main priority out here. I've been flying around for quite some time and I'm barely on village number two now. It's already the end of the day. This isn't going too well, I'll be honest. My elytra's at like half health also. Is there sugar cane? I don't think so. So this has got me depressed. So I might give up on the dream. I'm not going to lie. But I will take this bed because I need to go sleep. Oh, wow. Now that is a discovery. It looks like the ice biome is like actually still frozen. Why is, why is this also so big? I know what I must do. Tokyo drifting, baby. It's literally like a giant cul-de-sac, but it's all ice. It's so weird. What a weird looking biome. Oh, because it's frozen ocean over here. Okay, because I was like, is this supposed to be like the, the frozen biome? But then, yeah, okay, that's just the ocean, frozen ocean. Talking about the commotion. Polar bears, they always throw in it and uh, they make in the motion. Okay, I'm not a rapper. Okay, I gotta call it quits though. This is a terrible adventure, not going well at all. And yeah, okay, my elytra is uh, on life alert. Luckily, I know how to get out. Now on to the next task, since village hunting was a complete failure. What I do wanna do is build up a villager trading hall because one, you know, villager trading is obviously super important. It's crucial to Minecraft. Two, I can get a lot of sticks, one from this band, bamboo and also from these trees so i can do a lot of trades and get a lot of xp from doing those trades like having to go to this like roundabout ways of getting xp and i hate it i also kind of love it now for my mini villager trading hall it doesn't got to be too fancy but it's just got to be effective enough here let's clear out a nice area for all the room that i'm going to need make sure it's all nice and flat there we go that should be plenty big enough now, the design is going to be fairly simple i just need a nice little vent window shoppy kind of look to it why do you keep following me i'm actually so annoyed with this villager it's just following me everywhere i know it's a nitwit but like come on now i got the framework all set up basically each one of these villagers are going to sit in one of these little cubbies they'll have their job in front of them and they'll be locked into it forever basically just got to build these up for each and every single one of them oh this is so much easier to build from the top and now all the cubbies are all set up all i really need to do is get the villagers in here and then place down a trap door right here to get them fully trapped and then i could just cycle whatever job I want for them. I do kind of want to put a roof on this, actually. It's still ugly. There we go. Much better with a roof on it. And now to fill it, I'm going to need to make all the villagers breed so then I can actually have enough villagers to be able to do this. So now we're back to playing Farm Simulator. And now with all these tatoes, I could give it to the boys over here, not for trading, but for breeding. Now hurry up and pop out a couple babies. I'll even make sure that all the beds are very accessible. Oh, uh, yes. There we go. Now they're putting in the work. Now the next thing I want to do is just get some flint. So I can be able to make Fletchers and then we can get back to trading. Some of these parents already don't even have a job. So then they'll come right on over. There we go. Yes. Yes. Come get this. No, come back. Come back. Baby, come back. Okay. Now get. Nope. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
no. The only tricky part is trying to get him get down, <laughs> trying to tackle him. And now I'll just reset your trade until you give me what I want. Give me the same. There we go. Stick lock that trade in and bam. Now I technically got to wait for these kids to grow up, unfortunately. But in the meantime, I will continue to chop down trees, bamboo, gather more and more sticks, as well as capture more and more villagers. All right, it's taking some time. However, I've gotten a whole wall of Fletchers and then I stuck my librarian on this side and then uh yeah we, we're still working on the farmers <laughs> however i also have almost a shulker box full of spruce logs so now i can actually do a ton of stick trade and by doing stick trades like i said i also get a lot of xp which i've got i wanted to heal my elytra let's just blow through a bunch of these trades real quick all right now the elytra is pretty much full hp already my armor is looking pretty crispy as well honestly it's kind of op how much xp that you get from just trading with villagers and then you also get money like why wouldn't you do it and now with all these emeralds i can be able to just buy more mending books now i can also make sure i have mending on literally all of my gear definitely well worth it and there we go now i pretty much got mending on all of my gear including all my armor and everything i only have one book left and that's for a bow which i'm not even level 30 because i just did all the enchantments and actually hold on a second no fletchers at max level sell enchanted bows sir if i buy your garbage can you sell me good garbage and it's just unbreaking you know what these crappy little unbreaking bows should actually work because if i put them together i believe eh, i need another one the next morning as i was saying though if i just combine these unbreaking bows and i get unbreaking three and then unbreaking power three and then i need more levels to put my mending book on nothing some more stick trades won't fix and there we go now i got an op bow all mending gear i'm feeling fresh i'm feeling an op sir also what do you sell now since it is already day 93 there's not much that i can really do in this world that like actually be very productive and yeah, that's an enchanted spider here come here sir the only productive thing that i could think of that i could spend the rest of the 100 days doing is pretty much just working on the base our little paradise in this lava world so you know what let's do that nice peaceful little montage And now it is officially day 100. I've given the base a complete makeover. Our little paradise in this lava world got even better. Started off by getting a lot of stone and then I wanted to wall in the entire base just to, you know, I don't know, lava bad my base good i wanted to keep the lava out but i also wanted to make it so that none of the mobs that are spawning in the base can wander out because i've seen like two chimkins die but then after i walled in the entire base to keep them in i also realized oh well i could just uh make a little pen for all of them then this horse spawned he's a part of us so walling in the entire base and fighting lava just to be able to you know pen in the animals and i also decided to give the uh, the old base an upgrade a facelift if you will and honestly i like it even more now there's just so much texture I added some walls in the actual like wall itself. Uh, there's a little bit of depth and shading difference. Got some leaves going, a little bit more lanterns along with the uh, the old walls on top. A little nice archway. Honestly, something about this base. I just, it's, it's become my favorite base by far. <laughs> but alas, that is the sun setting on day 100. I hope you guys enjoyed this 100 day video. And if you did, make sure you guys smash that like button for me. Hit subscribe, join the Paul GG army, and I will see you guys guys in the next one.